Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So recently I've been getting quite a lot of compliments and questions about my hair. Thank you guys very much. So today I thought I would finally get around to filming an entire video all about my hair care routine, where I get it cut, where I get it dyed, what the hell I do to this mop on my head. I'm going to be talking all about the products that I use and the different techniques that I use to style my hair. So if you do want to see how I create this mop on my head, then please stay tuned. So first I guess we should just get into what my hair naturally looks like. I'm going to insert a clip here, this was earlier today when I hadn't done my hair yet and I basically just went to bed, my hair was I guess semi damp, I just didn't blow dry it properly and when I took it out this is what it looked like. So generally ignore the kinks because that is just from going to bed with my hair semi wet. My hair is pretty much straight, it does have a few kinks and stuff like that, it does have a bit of more volume but generally it is like a more straight hairstyle I guess you could say. I've said it to you guys a million times, I am a very hairy person. Hairy brows, hairy lashes, hairy hair, hairy moustache, arms, legs, bikini line, toes, I have very hairy feet, I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. But generally in the hair department a lot of things tend to work in my favour, for example my hair grows very very fast and it grows pretty healthy. Um, I have a lot of hair, let me just show you guys. I get this thinned out a lot and I'm gonna squeeze really really tight here, you guys may be able to see that but I do have quite a lot of hair even just showing you here, there's a lot of hair on my head so I don't have to have a problem with volumizing my hair or anything like that. My hair's in pretty good condition considering the fact that I get it bleached and everything like that. Um, it's pretty normal so I don't have like an oily scalp or anything like that. I tend to wash my hair maybe every three days, sometimes four. The other day I did leave it for five days and it wasn't my best look. So when it comes to actually washing my hair, when I do get around to doing it, I always make sure to shampoo and condition my hair. I tend to pretty much use whatever is in my shower at that time. A few of my favourites are the um, Tresemme, the red one, I always forget what it's called, like the 7 day smooth or something like that. I also like the Mark Hill Miracle Oilicious. Aussie is really good, pretty much anything that smells nice. I'll probably use. Another one of my favourites, this one is empty, but it's the big shampoo from Lush. This has sea salt grains in it, I need to pick up another one because this is the stuff that brings my hair upwards, so this kind of does the job in terms of volumizing. so I don't really need to use too many products in my hair afterwards. I find that my hair doesn't work amazingly with products, it kind of weighs it down quite a lot no matter what I use. When it comes to blow drying my hair, I blow dry my hair using just a standard hair dryer. I think I have one from Tresemme that's like two or three years old. The products that I use, I do have one missing, it's a I vary on the brand but it's basically one of those sprays that you put on your hair and it cuts down the time of how long it takes to actually dry your hair. They're amazing, I've run out so at the moment I am having to just blow dry my hair for hours on end and that is why in the cutaway of my natural hair, my hair was still wet when I went to bed because I just got lazy. But two products that I always like to use is the GHD heat protectant, again not fussy about the heat protectant that I use but I do really like this one because it's not sticky at all and I always always make sure to use an oil on the end of my hair, this is the macadamia oil and I love this stuff, I love the fact that it's got a pump because it's not messy whatsoever, it smells amazing, it works really, really nicely and it's not oily in any way at all, I mean it, it is oily, it's an oil but when I actually put it on my hair it doesn't leave it feeling oily or greasy or anything like that and you only need one pump and that's for all of my hair as well, so yeah, really really love this stuff. When it comes to brushing my hair, I'm very very particular, I always use a wet brush. Thankfully this is a brand new one because my last one was on its last legs and it just looked disgusting. So I'm showing you a brand new one to make you guys think that I'm put together and somewhat clean and tidy, but, but I'm not, just really not. If you guys have tried a Tangle Teaser, try this, it will honestly blow your mind. The Tangle Teaser is good. I really do like my Tangle Teaser and I tend to take it around with me if I'm travelling or anything like that because they do come with the small ones, but this, this is always my favourite. It gets out the knots, I love the fact that it has a standard handle and not one of those silly claspy things that make you just look like you're kind of a bit crazy. Um, it's honestly just such a good brush, they last a really really long time and I have very very knotty hair, like my hair, if I go to bed without tying it up, I will end up with a massive knot, like literally the size of a small animal at the back of my head and it'll take far too long to tangle out, tangle out, brush out, um, but this gets the job done quicker than anything else. 
In terms of actually styling my hair by now, I'm sure you guys have realised that generally I always wear my hair like this. And to do that, basically all I do is use dry shampoo. I use dry shampoo pretty much every single day. Even if my hair is freshly washed, I just like the fact that it gives me a sort of texture to my hair. At the moment, I'm just using the Oriental scent. I like all of them. I also sometimes use the XXL plumping one. That does leave your hair a little bit more sticky, but it works a treat if you do want a bit more volume. Another way I like to get volume is just by using a sugar dust. The idea for this is, I may actually show you guys quickly, I'm just going to pop a little bit in my hand and it comes out looking like icing sugar. I'm going to rub it together and you can just shove it straight in your hair, but I like to do it this way because it means that my hair doesn't go too crazy but you sort of massage it into your hair and it kind of gives you volume I haven't done it the best way right now so it's probably not showing it exactly how I want it to but if you do want volume in your hair try one of these products out because they're honestly so so good again leaves your hair feeling very sticky but it works. And then for a final treatment on my hair you guys may have seen me use this before it's the Goldwell Split and Recovery Concentrate I actually left this open, knocked it over and lost like half a bottle, which I was gutted about because this stuff is one of my favorite things to use. It is an oil, but it's more like a dry oil and you put it on the ends of your hair. Honestly, it does get rid of your split ends. Not completely, nothing really gets rid of them, but I feel like it kind of bonds them back together. Um, it's so, so good. So if you do suffer with split ends, definitely give this a go because it's probably one of my favorite products that I use on my hair. In terms of the tools that I use, like I said, this is my hairstyle pretty much every single day and all I use is a straightener. I actually use the L'Oreal Steam Pot, which I've been using for a good like year or so now. I know it's become quite popular recently. Um, I've been using it for a good year or so and I honestly love it. I love GHDs. I love them for more like precise styles and things like that. But Steam Pot, which you may be able to see back there, which is very, very blurry. I love that thing. I will do like a cutaway of me using it and stuff like that because I'm not going to drag it all the way over here because it is quite bulky um, which means it's not great for travel but that's fine I do just chuck in my GHDs but for at home the steam pod is like my favorite tool ever because it basically uses steam to straighten your hair it's really good for your hair or as good as heat can be um, I find that my hair isn't as damaged as it was before when I was using just standard straighteners and yeah I just really love it it gives me really really quick straight hair big thumbs up so if you are looking for maybe a Christmas gift or something like that or if it's on sale maybe give it a go because it's honestly it's really really good and then I'll quickly touch on the places that I get my hair done and things like that so basically my hair grows very very fast like I said so when it comes to getting my hair cut I go to a local salon in my hometown in Truro Cornwall it's called Marzipan the girls are honestly amazing there they're so so nice it's kind of a little bit out of the way it's not right in the town centre um, but it's such a lovely salon they use amazing products I think they use just Redken they're really affordable which I like because obviously when you do have to get your hair cut quite often it can get a little bit expensive uh, I go in there, they sit me down, they offer me a drink, they can offer you anything from like juice, coffee, tea to like wine and beers which is always a big thumbs up if you do get a bit nervous about getting your hair cut like I do. Whenever I go in there the girls are always so so lovely and I think actually I've had my hair cut by someone completely different every single time which is something that I wouldn't normally recommend doing um, but every single time I've gone in with them I've come out with a haircut that I'm really, really happy with. I've never been unhappy with a cut that I've come out with from them. It's a very very chilled out atmosphere in there which I really like. I don't know about you guys but I found sometimes when going into hairdressers or like makeup counters you know like the general sort of like beauty industry sort of thing I've gone in and I felt like I've been judged whereas when I go into marzipan they're all so so lovely really, really down-to-earth girls they're always there to have a laugh as well so it's a really nice experience I don't actually like getting my hair cut that often because I've had a lot of disasters in the past but those guys have kind of cured my fear of the hairdressers a little bit because they've just been so so good so if you are in the area and you do need a little hair snip then definitely check out Marzipan. I'll leave a link to all of their stuff down below. Um, they're honestly probably one of the best salons I've come across in the, in the Cornwall, in Cornwall. And then when it comes to getting my hair dyed, I go all the way up to London, which is a very, very long trip for me, but I do make sure that I work it around meetings and things like that. For example, the other day I went up to London for two days and I booked in with Evie. Evie is the only person I pretty much let dye my hair. She is honestly amazing. I love her as a person. Like I see her and she's like an old friend of mine now. But the way she does my hair is exactly how I want it and it's so so easy with her. I go in and she says, right what do you want today? And I'll just say, exactly the same as last time, just go blonder. Or exactly the same as last time, just a bit higher up. She 
I, she just, I don't even need to ask questions with her. She literally just does it and it's fairly quick for a dyeing process. I know people have stayed there before for like, or not there specifically, but people have had balayage and stuff like that done before. They've been there for like four, five hours. I'm in and out in about two hours and it's really, really nice there. The salon is amazing. Like I think I may have showed you guys before in a vlog, but I'll do like a little cutaway as well at the salon. It's the prettiest salon ever. I don't know if I mentioned, it's called Enna and it's in Covent Garden and it's honestly like the most Instagrammable salon you can imagine. They offer you like tea and biscuits constantly. I think I've like gone there before and they've offered me like a big slice of apple pie, which again, big thumbs up. If you want me to like something, then just feed me. Chances are that'll up the rating a little bit. In terms of what Evie actually does to my hair, I obviously don't know the technical terms, but I think I have a clip of it as well, so I will try and show you guys. But she essentially just back brushes my hair and then puts the bleach I don't know the exact sort of bleach. She puts the bleach on my hair and then just kind of leaves it for a while. And then she'll keep doing that all over my head. It is a bitch to brush out. Like the guy that brushes my hair out afterwards, I always feel sorry for him because it takes a long ass time. My head is now just fully accustomed to just being pulled. Um, but it's so worth it. It gives like a really sort of natural finish. Hopefully you guys can see. It does just look like a, a really natural kind of gradient. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much how she does it. So it's really, really simple. Again, I will leave all links down below and things like that. If you do have any questions, then please feel free to send them my way and I'll try and get around to asking Evie to see if I can answer them for you guys. I'm also hoping to be doing my first Q&A video very, very soon. So if you do have any questions or anything like that that you are dying for me to answer, then please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to make a video all about the answers. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you found this video a little bit helpful and interesting. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe if you do want to see more of me I am I'm out of breath if you do want to see more of me then I am posting every single day in the lead up to Christmas so be sure to hit that subscribe button but apart from that that's it from me I love you guys and I will see you in the next one bye